This week in Tesla. Tesla, 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 Tesla. That's right. This week in Tesla. So today was earnings call day. Very exciting. And there's one thing that I need to lead with. And that is 2021 is Plaid, baby. The Plaid vehicles are out. They announced these refreshes in the investor call, which is unusual. This is not normally where um, they do this. They normally do product uh, announcements or launches or events but um at all with, no, it's with, always been that way <laughs> yeah so so there's this is this is just a an update they don't they don't make a big deal out of those at all right but yeah, yeah. this is just more than just a minor update so uh we got to see these uh plaid vehicle uh images that they've put out and so they have an interior refresh they went to the horizontal screen and they've added a third screen. There's one for the second row now. And then we were just talking about the steering wheel. It's now this uh, butterfly style yoke, steering yoke. And uh, it's not quite the same as Kit because they did have to meet the, the, the laws for a production vehicle. So it does have closed loops on it, but uh, definitely different. And it's stockless. So no turn signals. Uh, no, no air selector. Air selectors, <laughs> yeah. Um, so going to be a very different experience using that. Uh, so that was exciting to see that. Uh, and they also have a Model X with this refresh because there was there's been some discussion that maybe this will be the end of the X. And to which I said, no, it has to live <laughs> because I plan on buying one in 2025. If they cancel it now, that ruins my plans. <laughs> so uh, that was the big one. The tri motor. They have a zero to 60 time of less than two seconds, faster than uh, any production vehicle car ever made. And uh, it, that's, this is a luxury sedan and it beats hypercars and supercars. Uh, in, incredible. Yeah. It's street legal. Right. Yes. Uh, and their longest range version, 520 miles EPA. No, I was. No. I remember when they went over 400. I was like, "Wow, that's just incredible!" And now they've done it again over another major milestone. What is it? A year later? Yeah, that's it's wow. just impressive that the the way that the technology is progressing. And um, so when they were going through their financials, they were talking. They they uh, have how much they've been spending on R and D, and a, a lot of their profits are getting plowed right back into to R and D and that's exactly what we need them to do to continue to improve the technology, to, to continue to improve energy density, to reduce production costs, to, to ramp up manufacturing, to, to build new factories, to build more service centers, to build out a larger um, supercharger network. They've got, they, they are spending a lot of money and uh, luckily they're also making a lot of money. Uh, we can, yeah, we, if you want to know the financials, go to ir.tesla.com. You can see all of that there. Um, the uh, forward-looking product stuff that I just went over is probably the, the most exciting part about it. Um, there were some questions about, um, oh, they did a little bit of a recap of 2020, some of the cool things they've done there, delivering uh, half a million vehicles, how that in that one year, they nearly doubled the total number that, that they've made in their entire history. So that was uh, incredible how they got their pilot battery cell plant up and going and how it would be one of the top 10. And yet for them, it's just a pilot factory. It's not even a full production factory. Um, they talked about how now that they have this um, money coming in, they are using it to reduce their debts. They have um, convertible loans that they're converting to uh, stock converting. So they're getting those off of their books. They had um, a, an increase in stock-based employee compensation. It was it was significantly higher than usual because their stock during this time has ramped up so much that um, the way that some of these employee programs work, you get the stock at either the beginning or ending price of a six-month window. Well, if it goes up a lot during that, then uh, uh, the uh, the amount of benefit the employees get shows up on the uh, uh, here is is a is a significant cost to the company, and that's great for the employees. Um, if you work there, I, I, uh, good good job on you getting a nice big fat uh, check for your uh, stock participation. Right. The employee uh, stock program is quarterly, not semi-annually, isn't it? Oh, 
um you you work there you would know better than i, I that's yeah. my recollection is that it was quarterly but it does work that same way depending on the price the beginning and the end and, oh okay yeah the the one i'm familiar with is semi-annually I, uh, i'm okay. i'm nitpicking i'm sorry patrick no no that's no, fine i'd rather be accurate uh um, I just assumed that uh, Tesla's was like the one I'm familiar with, and I was wrong. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, they talked about how they are uh, going to significantly work on ramping up solar this year. Their solar is, is up over the last three years, uh, but as we know, it was at a very low spot in 2018 because they pulled everybody off to work on Model 3 delivery because Model 3 was do or die. If they didn't deliver that and uh, didn't get it ramped up, there would be no Tesla to deliver any of their products. So uh, they made the hard choice to uh, sacrifice solar during that time. And now it's time for them to make their comeback. How, they talked about how they've reduced their costs for both production and installation and how they're uh, working on making a better product by having Powerwall integration with their app so that you're getting a whole energy service and not just solar panels. Um, and, and I'm definitely seeing that with the power walls I have now, depending on what mode you have it in, it can predict your energy usage and your production for the day and then smartly manage your battery to, to handle that. Uh, in some cases, even discharging your battery to make room for anticipated solar so that uh, they can time uh, when that energy use happens, even though it would exceed your battery capacity, they can still be smart about it. Uh, what's next? Um, full self-driving. They've talked about how with every release of the beta, things have been getting better, how they're moving to their 4D model. And um, there are still parts of the neural net that are in 2D mode. And every time they um, change one of them over to their 4D mode, it gets uh, even better. So uh, uh, that's great to see that they figured out a formula that's working and they're continuing to improve that. And as I said, with every beta release that goes out, it's getting better. Often for some even complicated drives, they're seeing zero interventions now. And of course, that doesn't mean that it's ready to go out or that you can stop paying attention. Don't fall asleep in your back seat. Don't be an idiot. Um, uh, you'll be dead. And uh, don't do that. <laughs> uh, our lawyer called and said, don't do that. Uh, one of the questions was, um, is, is viewing Tesla's value based on battery capacity uh, in a relevant way to value the company? To which I was surprised, Musk said, absolutely. They are the limiting factor on all of our products. The reason we haven't put the semi out yet is that we don't have enough batteries to do it. And uh, uh, so th that was an interesting discussion there that it's, it's really, how many batteries can we get from our partners because we're not stopping even though we're making our own we've made sure that all of our partners know we want to buy batteries from them and we're going to want to buy more this year than we did last year uh lots and lots of stuff here um perfect well the tunnel but, but we're uh, running okay. out of right. that time yes. for that okay. so the last one casey has to to have to have this so uh the boring tunnel in las vegas the um uh, Musk was down there with a few of his children. They have some pictures of it that have been released, and they're going to have a Fallout uh, shelter-themed party to, to kick it off. <laughs> wow. Fallout Shelter is one of the games that they offer in their car, too, so very cool. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you very much for that. And, of course, the best place to get all of this information is from the source, so go to YouTube and search for the Tesla Life Show. Look for the shiny red logo and subscribe. That way you get Mark Coughlin, Casey Green, Patrick Connor, and who knows who else. You get it right from the source. You get all the news. Mm -hmm.